She made us laugh on SNL and dazzled in Schmigadoon. Now Cecily Strong returns to the stage for Brooklyn Laundry, a play that proves big, thing can, big things can start from little things, like a trip to the laundromat. Take a look. How much for the dry cleaning? Seven fifty. I'll put it against your tab. You want to have dinner? <laughs> what? You want to get dinner? No. I don't know. I felt a pinch. <laughs> Pinch? What? What do you mean? I don't know, like you pinched me. Well, I didn't. I'm not saying you did. A pinch? Yeah. <laughs> and Cecily is with us now. Welcome. Thank you for having me. We just saw Fran, who the play follows, from one life-altering thing to the next. Can yes. you set the show up for us? Yes, it's a, it's a bit of a, a roller coaster. It starts off, <clears throat> Fran is 37, and she's sort of at a rut in her life and has done what she thought she should do and isn't quite fulfilled with her station in life and walks into a laundromat one morning and in a grumpy mood and meets this man and follows her from there and you meet her sisters and it's sort of all of the challenges that life throws at you all at once and um, finding finding your happiness within that. Mm. Well, writer-director John Patrick Shanley said that rehearsals were really moving for him. How are they for you? Same for us. I mean, I would go home with like, and here's what John Patrick Shanley said today. <laughs> and I never knew if he was going to, if a sentence was going to end with a joke or if it was going to make us all cry. And it's, it's very, a lot of his writing is really personal to him. So he's sort of, one of the characters is based on his sister who passed. And it's sort of, and even, and the other day he had his other sister in the audience. And it was really emotional knowing his family was there. Well, speaking of emotional, obviously we have lots of that in the story. It's very high stakes. And the audience really feels it with you as they go. Does that ever affect your performance in a good way? Oh, absolutely. In, in a great way. And sometimes it's in a devastating way. You know, the things, hearing certain things that people relate to, it's it's a gut punch sometimes and I'm I'm sorry that they relate but also glad that they're they're sharing this with us. Yeah. Well, the topic of ghosting comes up. How do you feel about ghosting? I've been ghosted. It's me. Yeah, I, I feel <laughs> I've probably been ghosted. I, it is me. I'm sort of like just listen, it be a grown up for it's 5 minutes of your life. You, then you can ghost, but you can, you know, reach out to somebody. Yeah, I agree. Well, dropping off a bag of laundry changed your character's friend's life. Has anything ever started out really small like that for you? I, you know, I kind of feel like everything starts off small, right? It's like plays like this. You just get an email <laughs> or I, I did the correspondence dinner and that came in. My dad called me and said his friend at the Tribune was asking if I'd do the correspondence dinner. And it was like, this can't possibly be how that <laughs> offer comes in. It can't be through my dad calling me <laughs> driving in Chicago. That, but it did. That's some great behind the scenes info yeah. there. Who knew? Who knew? Well, fans are hoping for a third season of Schmigadoon. There's petitions for it. If you could visit any new musicals through a third season, what would you choose? You know, I th there's lots of 90s. I think like Rent is a fun thing that is in that world that we could play around with. I know. That show is so fun. It needs to come. I got to go sign that petition. Well, thank you. <laughs> Let's hope from your lips to God's ears. Let's hope so. Right. Well, you played so many fan favorites and recurring characters on SNL. Do you have a personal favorite that you, you like know, to play? They, I, had a, I was lucky. I had a lot of fun. I think oh, Kathy Ann was like a guaranteed good time for me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We love all of them. I mean, there's too many to even count now. But f have you ever met anyone and thought, you should be an SNL character, like random people you've met on the street. Oh, every day, <laughs> multiple times a day. And and now they just become funny stories for me. But um, yes, every, there's, especially in New York, there's a lot of SNL characters walking around. <laughs> that is true. We're blessed. <laughs> on every street corner. <laughs> You're also in the upcoming Garfield movie. What can you tell us about that? I don't know that I can say anything other than I had a lot of fun and I'm really excited to see how it turns out. All right, good tease. Well, thank you, Cecily. Brooklyn Laundry is playing now at New York City Center Stage One. For tickets and more info, head to ManhattanTheaterClub.com. It was so good to see you. So Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.